they came, they saw, and they conquered, and then left rather suddenly. But the Romans could be making a return to North Wales, complete with a new fort, thanks to a unique project in a former North Wales quarry near Hope. They're calling it Park in the Past, and the team behind it believe it's the first of its kind in the world. The aim is to turn the clock back 2,000 years, a living time machine. It's ambitious, but they've been given a boost thanks to the big lottery fund and the Welsh Government, who've awarded them a development grant. It's a start. What I want to do is take this 120-acre disused sand and gravel quarry and turn it into a first century flora fauna environment it was such a huge uplift in every kind of species of bird bug life tree flower and within that to then reconstruct elements of that environment at the moment the romans march in and meet our indigenous celtic culture the vision is broad from a roman fort an iron age farm to sport recreation research and nature conservation it would be a social enterprise, not-for-profit venture, and the team say they want the surrounding communities to play a central role in the plan. That's very much the big idea behind what they're trying to do here. And what we need now is community engagement. We want people to come down here, talk to us, and tell us what they would like to see developed on the site. It's just going to create an amazing environment, but the most important point is it's something that everybody else can share in the development of. It's a legacy, yeah? Hey, Granddad, did you really build that fourth? I did, actually. <laughs> it's that kind of aspect. It's, it's having something that we can all leave behind us. The next big hurdle will involve them going up against other projects in what's called the Create Your Space programme, and the prize there is £2 million. Like Rome, this park won't be built in a day, but there's a steely determination here, worthy of the legions, to make it happen. Ian Lang, ITV News, Hope.